Okay, so here's a quick recap on input, output and assignment. So input is where we get input from the console and we read that in and store it in our program to use. Output is where we write something out on the, on the console for a user to see. And an assignment statement is something where we set something within our program equal to something else. So for example, if we declare a variable called user input and we set that equal to a console.read line, that will be an assignment statement because we are assigning our variable user input a value which we are reading in from the console. So let's just create a simple application just to demonstrate reading in from the console an assignment statement and then writing that back out again. So let's first of all declare a variable. Remember we use the dim keyword for that and I'm going to call my variable user input and I'm going to declare that as a string because it's just going to be a string of characters. Okay. Don't forget the name of our variable here is called the identifier. Next I'm going to just prompt the user using an, an output statement to enter their name. So I start off with console dot write line and I'm going to say please enter your name. Notice there I put the space so the user on the console doesn't start writing immediately next to the colon. <coughs> Once I've requested that they enter their name I'll use my assignment statement and I'll say user input equals console dot read line. So that will read in whatever the user has entered and store it in that variable there called user input. Once I've read that in, I'll just further write out another line to the console and say console dot write line. And this time I'm going to write out hello, then the person's name that they've entered, welcome to Visual Studio. So let's say hello. I'll put a comma and a space, then I'm going to close my speech marks, use the ampersand symbol. Then I want to include their name, which is stored in our user input variable, another ampersand, a space, and welcome to, let's say, vb.net. Don't forget on the end, I'm going to need a little console.read just so that the program pauses long enough for us to be able to see what is actually displayed on the console. And I've just realized I've got that little comma in the wrong place there. We want it on the end of the name. Okay, so if I now run my program using our play button up the top here, we'll be presented with a console and you can see it says please enter your name. So I'll pop my name in there, Matt, press the enter key and I get a message saying hello Matt, welcome to vb.net. You could argue here that it might have been better to use the console.write statement rather than the console.write line so that my name would have appeared on the same line. And we'll just show the difference between that. So rather than having a console.write line there, I just use the console.write. And if we show that again, you'll see the difference. So now you can see when I'm typing in my name, I'm typing it next to the please enter your name. Pressing the return key and again, we get the same message of hello Matt, welcome to vb.net. So we've got a variable declaration here using our dim keyword, user input as our identifier, and the data type of that is a string because it's just going to be a string of characters. We've got an output statement there where we're outputting please enter your name onto the console, an input statement where we're reading in from the console and storing it in our variable there called user input, and a final output statement which is just writing out hello then the uh, name that the user has entered, welcome to vb.net. Finally, a little console.read on the end just to pause so that our console doesn't disappear straight away without us having the chance to see what was displayed.